Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I am going to give you my review on A Fall from Grace. <laughs> I had to remember it. I've been recording all day. A Fall from Grace. So, I've seen all the bad reviews. I've seen a few good reviews. But I've mostly seen bad reviews. But... Here's the gag. The movie made $26 million. No, it did not. 26 million people tuned in to A Fall From Grace. I mean, and I want to make sure that I give you the correct numbers because just because <laughs> nobody likes something doesn't mean that it's, 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 not, it's not what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Sometimes a fall from grace, viewers, let's, yes, let's put it in. Yes, Tyler Perry's A Fall From Grace on Netflix, watched by 26 million people, is first week. Okay, so do you know how much money that, let's, let's, let's do it. Do you know how much money that made for Netflix? 26 million. 26 million. Now, I don't know about y'all, but my Netflix is $17.99. So, just say, we're not, because it's that's uh, 400 and some million. Just say half of those people are actually paying customers. That's over 200 plus million dollars. So, here's the thing. You cannot like uh, Tyler Perry's writing. You cannot not like Tyler Perry's movies. And that is fine. But the man is anointed to do what he is doing. So we're trying to pick out every little thing that he does. Okay. This is not a Tyler Perry exposed video. This is a review, right? Let's do the review. Anyway, I like the movie, A Fall From Grace. It was about um, an older woman, um, like I said, we've all seen uh, that type of woman before, or uh, probably some of, some of us has been, been that woman, been bamboozled or um, hoodwinked by somebody, um, and we thought that they were going to be the love of our life or they it was just too good to be true. And most of us, most of us have been in that situation as far as, as relationships. But very few people can really relate to a... No, I take that back. There's a, there, there's a, a lot of people that can relate to a dishonest friend but child a friend that will set you up with her son a friend that will frame you for murder a friend that will let you go to jail because listen I don't even blame the the I don't blame the guy as much as I do his mom, which was supposed to be Grace's best friend. We've seen it. The, uh, Grace falls in love with the man. He's too good to be true. She thinks that he has all of this going for himself. All of it ends up being a big lie. Okay, we've seen this story. But the kicker of the story is 
Felicia Rashad. I'm gonna need you to get back to um being uh Mrs. Huxtable because I don't like her being the bad guy. I don't. I didn't like her being the bad guy in Empire. I didn't like it at all. And I know it's acting, but some some things are just keepsake. And I feel like she's just our keepsake. And I don't want to see her playing these roles because, baby, her role was so dark. Do you hear me? And to have all these uh, older women up in this basement and tell. It was a lot of twists and turns, this and that. I'm not going to try to dissect the, um, the acting of it. I'm not going to try to say what he what could have, should have, would have. My review is that it was a good movie. I enjoyed the twist of the movie. Um, I, I definitely was surprised. I, it definitely was some stuff that I was like, oh, okay. Because let, let, let's be clear. If you want to start pinpointing every movie, let's go to the big movies that we go to the movies and see all the time. I, I've heard people say that the the um, the guy should have been dead because she busted him in the head so many times with the bat. In real life, of course, of course, of course, yes. TV people, just for entertainment. Take it for what it is. That's it. It's just TV. That's it. Baby, how many times Jason supposed to have been dead? Is Jason and Michael Myers is the same people? I don't know. But how many times Jason, Michael Myers, Fred Krueger, how many times did these people were supposed to have been gone and dead? And But we still go back and watch them. Come on. So, to keep on insulting this man, his his talent, his accomplishments, is like a slap in the face for us as a black community. You don't have to like it, but you don't have to keep publicly bashing everything he does. It's plenty of movies that suck. There's plenty of writing. There's suck. I people just flock to uh, Glee. I just can't get it. People just flock to what else? What else do y'all flock to? <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. No, I take that back. My daughter loves Grey's Anatomy, but I just never could get into Grey's Anatomy. Now, Scandal was my joint, but however, I digress. You get my point. Stop trying to dissect everybody what somebody is doing. They're just trying to do their best, work hard. And that's it. What if you ever thought that that was his best? And... We make it so hard for people that really want to be in movies, be in music, be in the arts, be in the entertainment. Because we are so uh, hypocritical and so critical because all you're doing is at the thing. This is so... Uh, I just cannot believe that that wig looked it like... Invest. Huh? Invest in a proper wig for the cast. Can you do that, sugar? A Fall From Grace. I like the movie. If you have not seen it, go watch it. Get your own opinion of it. My my review probably not going to be like everybody else. But, yeah. I like the movie. I thought the, um, the story was uh, good. And uh, I enjoyed the acting. I am a Tyler Perry supporter. 